So dynamos, let's talk about it. We're going to talk about the things that you are doing that you don't realize that are sabotaging your weight loss journey. So let's talk about the major, major one. We're treating the approach to weight loss as punishment. Just the thought of waking up in the morning early to work out is an issue for you. The thought of it, oh God, and it's a punishment. The thought of, I have gym at 12 today. I need to go gym during my lunchtime. Or I mean, you, you make excuses. So we don't want you to think about working out as a punishment. We need you to embrace that lifestyle. So you thinking about it as a punishment is already affecting how it is that you approach your weight loss journey. Let's talk about that liquid calories. Now, I have clients that, Pat, oh, me can't lose weight like you. Pat, oh, me can't get my arms torn like you. Pat, and the listing goes on and on. And when you ask them how it is that they're eating, they will tell you that, you know, I'm eating clean, I'm eating good, you know, you know, I'm a vegan or I don't eat this. And the list goes on and on. But you know what they're doing? They're drinking. They're drinking. And liquid calories is the worst of it, which I don't understand. Now, they will say to me, all I drink is a glass of wine a day. But if you're on that weight loss journey, you need to cut out everything. Start first, reset the body. Then when you start getting them, you know, when the weight start coming off, then now you can incorporate back the things in your lifestyle that you love. We're going to talk about the ma the next big one that I say everybody doing and they don't realize that it's sab it is sabotaging their journey. The thing we call intermittent fasting. Yeah, man, I could talk about it. Now, I am not saying that intermittent fasting don't work. It does. But you cannot be intermittent fasting every single month. Every single month, you gone, gone fast for five, seven, seven, fourteen days. No. You know why? Because you're sabotaging, setting that lifestyle that you are now be going to be living. You know, live a healthy lifestyle if you keep on intermittent fasting. Because all you're doing is just doing a quick fix to lose as much weight as you can very quickly. But then when you start consume and start living the lifestyle that you were living before intermittent fasting, what do you think is going to happen? You're going to gain back the weight it is that you have lost. Not only that, can you intermittent fast for the rest of your life? The whole idea of you going on a weight loss journey is not to do the things that you were doing before that have gotten you where you are now. You understand me? Not only that, you're now implementing a lifestyle that is realistic for you to live for the rest of your life. And this is why you have persons who they lose weight, a lot of weight, and you see them 10 years down the line, they have on much more weight than what they, lo they lost before. The next thing, we are cut out when you have fat, and we are cut out when you have carbohydrate out of our diet. No. First of all, guys, we're going to talk about carbs because everybody that's going on a weight loss journey, that's the number one thing that they cut out. So even if they don't cut out fat and them cut out carbs, you know why? Because they think that carb is a devil. I wish I had a video editor right now to just push up the little devil sign here so because you guys think carbs are the devil. We need carbs for fuel. If we don't have fuel in our system, how it is that we're, how it is that we're going to get on with our daily lifestyle? How it is that we're going to train? We're going to always be demotivated. We're going to always be crappy, feeling crappy. We're not going to have strength in our body to lift them heavy weights. Therefore, we need to lift heavy weights. Plus, we're not going to be able to do cardio the way it is that we want to do cardio because we don't have carbs in our body. Carbs is fuel. It's not the enemy, guys. It's not the enemy. You understand me? And the last one, last one before I go, is we're relying on counting calories. I hate when people slide in my DM and ask me, Pat, how much, how much calories is that you intake at daytime? I'm not count my calories. I do not count my calories. You understand me? If you live by counting your calories, unless you're going to do bodybuilding, you understand me? And even bodybuilders who enter competition, once they're out of competition mode, they're not counting any calories. If you continue counting your calories, is it something that you realistically, realistically can do for the rest of your life? Not only that. Here why I will tell my clients and teach my clients not to, count, um, not to, not to rely on calorie counting is because none of them calories are not taking out nobody, you know, are empty calories, you know. 
it worse than una count on the calories. So I think we're not putting in the right calories into the body, but are empty calories you guys putting in. Now, guys, a lot of these conversations that is called my conversation with shakes, coach talk conversations, is I'm going to go more in depth with these conversations over my subscription channel. So if you want to see me go more in depth, learn more from these conversations, make sure that you're a subscriber. So you're going to boop, click that subscription button and make sure you're a subscriber. Or if you want me to answer specific direct questions of challenges that you're having and see how it is that I actually eat from beginning to end in terms of when I'm maintaining, in terms of when I'm losing weight, in terms of if I decide to do restrictive calorie, um, calorie intake. And when I do restrictive calorie intake, I only do it for a particular period of time. And when I, oh, oh, it is that I come off that restrictive calorie intake, make sure you're a member of the Dynamo Club. Make sure you go over to my website and become a Dynamic Lifestyle member of that community. All right? See you next time when I drop these conversations with Shakes, Couch Talk.